Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back to the vlog, and I just want to say really quickly, thank you for tapping this video if it popped and you suggested or you searched it up. Thank you for watching. So what I'm going to be talking about in today's vlog are the track apps. Now, originally they were introduced in uh, 2013 by the GT500, and they had a, a few cool things. One of the biggest things, or one of the most uh, well-known apps they had was um, Drag Strip, or I think it was properly, or originally called um, Launch Control, but it had a little Christmas tree um, style, red, red, you know, red light, yellow light, green light, that the drag strip had. So that was a cool feature it had, and it kind of introduced from then on out a whole new array and different options and different things to play with with the Mustang with all the new track apps it has. So with the new 2018 models, it stayed pretty similar to the uh, 15 through 17 model, but the thing is, I don't have the performance package and with the 15 and 17, you were actually limited to having a certain amount of track apps on there, whether or not you had the um, performance pack or not. But fortunately with the new 2018s, you don't need the um, performance package to actually have some of the really cool track apps on here. So without further ado, I'm gonna hop right in. I'm gonna show you some of the cool things it has. I'm gonna show you line lock and give you an example of that, which is my all time favorite thing to do. It goes through gas, it looks cool, and it also burns away your tires, which are my favorite things to do. So upon entering the Mustang, right away you have your gauge, and on the screen you can actually see a few options they have. They have gauge mode, trip and fuel, track apps, driver assist, and settings. Now gauge mode, if you push this a little bit right here, this kind of lets you uh, navigate through the menu. We'll go up to gauge mode and click that. It actually has um, your miles per hour and kilometers. And now with the 15 through 17, if you had a 15 through 17, you'd notice that we didn't actually have a digital speedometer. But fortunately with the new 2018s, now we do. So if we just got to navigate on a track app, so I can kind of go to more detail here. We have status screen, accelerometer, acceleration timer, brake performance, and line lock. So status screen is actually one of the new features the new 2018s have. And if you tap it, it'll actually go from normal or sport. So if I change the um, driving mode from normal to sport, just like that, it will change. So once that screen goes away, I can show you. It's right there under sport, it's no longer normal, and then we have sport mode. So that kind of just lets you know what mode you're driving in. And for the steering control, which is actually the little icon on the right hand side, it tells you what steering you have. So if I change the steering, we have normal, sport, and comfort. Now when you put your car into sport mode, it'll automatically change into sport steering. So for me, I don't typically keep it in status screen because it's not really that big of a deal for me. I know what mode I'm in, and I know what steering I, I'm in. So this feature is like a cool thing to have at, at your hands, at your fingertips. That way you can know what you're in, but typically with only two options, you don't really need to know which one you're in because you'll automatically know which one you're in. Now, accelerometer is actually one of my favorite ones here, and with my 15 to 17, or I had the 2016 Mustang EcoBoost, it actually had accelerometer. So you tap that, it'll give you a display of um, how many G's you're filling upon accelerating or deaccelerating or you're taking on a turn. And I do really like this feature, I'm really glad Ford put this in because a, a while ago when the GT3 was out, the GT3 RS, it had a uh, built-in accelerometer, showed all the G4, so when I got my EcoBoost, I saw they had this and I was freaking out. I was a really big Porsche fan at the time and to have a feature that the uh, Porsche had, especially the GT3 uh, model, can't speak today, but having a feature that that had was really cool. I always kept it in there. And it's really fun when you're you know, giving it gas, you just kind of know how much you feel. But on the uh, top and the bottom and the left and right hand side, you'll see little numbers like point zero or point 89, 0.75. This actually, it locks in at um, the max G's you felt at a time. So for braking, 89, for acceleration, 0.73. So I haven't felt a whole one G of uh, G-Force. Granted, my car is not that fast, but it's really cool to know how many G's you've actually experienced in the car. So the only thing I wouldn't recommend with the accelerometer is looking at it when you are accelerating. It could be a recipe for disaster, and I kind of don't recommend that. So moving on, if you go down to acceleration timer, this actually records the fastest you've gone from 0 to 30, 0 to 60, or 0 to 100 miles per hour. And then if you go on the drag strip, you'll notice that there's a, it could also go into two, um, 1 8 and then a quarter mile. So for this one, let's say I want to go from 0 to 60 and record that. I'll scroll down and I'll tap 0 to 60. Automatic start, or we have countdown start. If you automatic, as soon as you press OK, it'll start timing, or it'll start recording how fast you're going. 
get our countdown. We'll pick countdown. This right here is what's really cool. It'll go down like the um, Christmas tree drag strip. And from here, it'll give you the green light. As soon as the green light goes and you've got it, it'll automatically start recording how fast you're going and they'll automatically stop once you, your car reaches 60 miles per hour. For example, I'm not gonna gun it to 0 to 60, but I'm gonna show you just real quick what it looks like. And just like that, you've gun it all the way to 0 to 60 and you'll have your new record on your Mustang. So brake performance, this one could be pretty self-explanatory. Um, this will record your braking from 60 miles per hour to zero or 100 miles per hour to zero. We select that one, we'll press OK to begin to give an example of what it'll do. And accelerate to 60 miles per hour. Upon reaching 60 miles per hour, you'll brake and it'll record how fast you come to stop. So it's kind of a cool feature. This one, um, recording your brake performance isn't a big thing to me, but I can understand if you want to take your car on the track or you want to really bring out the most in your Mustang, it'd be really cool to know exactly how quickly your Mustang can stop. So moving on, we have Lion Lock. Now, Lion Lock is probably the coolest feature that the new Mustang has, and a feature that can definitely be abused and um, lead to your tires having no tr tread. So, in order to show you this one, I need to be in drive. We'll put it down in drive, we'll select Lion Lock. From here, you have to OK to initialize, and this one's a little more tricky, a little more things to do here. But here, you have to engage the brake firmly to activate your brakes locking. So, if you push it all the way in as tight as you can, it'll engage. You press OK to begin while still holding the brake, and you'll hear it lock. Upon doing this, you can give it gas and the tires will spin, which I'll show you shortly what it, what it can do. It's a really nice burnout, but we'll press OK to release the brake, and your car will move forward because, you know, you put it on the brake. So, I'll go into a little more detail about what line lock does and how it works. As soon as you um, hold down the brake, what will happen is you're holding down all the brakes. The back ones will still be locked in. As soon as it initializes, the two front brakes will actually completely lock. So now you have your, your two front wheels completely locked in. The back brakes are completely loose and as soon as you give it gas, they'll keep spinning. So this allows you to do a burnout in an easy way and a more quick and efficient way but still getting the job done and it looks really cool to do. This is a really cool thing to see because not everyone can do a burnout successfully or do it the right way that won't damage the car as far as the engine goes and the transmission. So line lock is a really cool thing. I'm really happy Ford did that. And just lets you really, you know, have that Mustang experience without having a whole bunch of experience with the cars like that with so much power because when you do burnouts, there's a chance of you spinning out, but no, you won't do it no more. You won't spin, you won't skid, and you won't fishtail because the brakes are locked in the front. It's a really cool, safe way to do a burnout. So now I'm actually on the hopping side, and I picked a really good area to do a burnout. And I'm gonna show you how Lion Lock works. Well, I'm gonna show you what it can do. I already showed you how it works, talk about that. But now I'm gonna prop the camera up, and I'll show you how exactly a 20 team Mustang can do a really cool burnout. So there you have it, there's the burnout, there's the damage, that's insane and you can smell all the, all the rubber being burned. So let's show you the tires real quick. So yeah, we still have a good amount of tread left. I have kind of played with it, but oh man, you can smell the rubber. That's a really good smell. If you're a car enthusiast, you'll absolutely love that. But there's the damage. As you can see, a really controlled burnout. I didn't spin out too much or fishtail. For the most part, it's just a straight line all the way down. I'm not gonna be the Mustang that crashes. Thanks to Ford's little cool line lock picture they have on the Mustang. Really neat. But anyways, I'm gonna, the video was gonna be a short video today. I just wanna tell you, I wanna go into a little more detail about the track apps and what the Mustang can do, especially line lock, as there's not many videos really showcasing what the Mustang can do once the line lock is turned on. But the video, I have, a look, I have some more cool things planned for the channel. I'm actually gonna be going to uh, Arizona. I also can't speak, by the way. But I'm going to Arizona, and I'll be renting a little uh, Fiat 500 for my vacation. And while I'm there, I know it's a Fiat 500, it's not anything fancy, but I want to talk about Turo, because that's what we'll be renting it with. And Turo's a really cool thing, which you can rent your car or rent other people's cars on there while avoiding all the hassle of uh, rental cars. So my Turo, my Arizona trip's coming up, and while I'm there, I'll be going to California and cool other things there. But I'll be renting from Turo, and I kind of wanted to talk about 
is renting from Turo a, a safe way to rent a car and basically the whole entire process about it, how easy is it, is it safe, is it secure, I'll go into more detail there and when I come back I have another Fiat thing planned but with the Navarre. So I look forward to doing that, really excited for that. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did I really appreciate it if you like and subscribe, that really means a lot to me. But anyways, thanks for tuning in and uh, enjoy the rest of the day.